Hello and welcome to this wonderful moment of festive season. It is Christmas with us and we can see that a child is born and God has granted us a wonderful time and a wonderful year even as we celebrate in the name of the Lord. I thank you for the way you have continued to watch and engage by viewing our programs. May God bless you. I am Reverend Tyras Kamau, Deliverance Church Maragua. Today, I want us to, uh, to concentrate on the work of God. Because Christ was manifest uh, for one reason, that we shall, we, may, we shall make his light shine upon the world. And I want us to concentrate on the life of Mary. And our, and our message today is Mary's encouragement in the face of our God-given assignment. The Bible speaks about predestination. We are being predestined. Mungu alitujua hata kabla hatuja kuja katika ulimwengu. And he understood our purpose better than we can even know. Therefore, during this Christmas, I want us to go through the courage of Mary and the God-given mission and see how each one of us has a mission to accomplish there is a purpose for each one of us because the word of God is the idea that brings the light of truth of God to darkness hence internal life and rich promises relating both to this life and that which is to come all were opened and made known through and only the birth of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior in the book of uh, Colossians, chapter number 1 and verse number 27, Paul says, To them God willed to make known what the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And that's the meaning of Christmas. This mystery was hidden for ages and generations but it is now being revealed to his saints through Christ. The book of Matthew, chapter number 13 and verses number 11, says, And this knowledge of the mystery of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, to everyone. The wonderful mystery that was given to us through Paul, and which was hidden in ages past is Christ in you, Christ in me, Christ in us, and Christ in every member of the body of believers. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is a glorious truth that is worthy of our everlasting thanks and praises to God. Let us live each day as, we, as befits his worthy position to his praise and to his majesty. Amen. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God and the earth is his footstool waiting for us to bring his enemies under his feet. So we have got a mission to accomplish even as we celebrate Christmas holidays. There are so many different traditions at Christmas time. How people enjoy and engage in the festive season. But nothing compares to the Christmas story, the gospel account of God, which became one of us, wrapped himself in human skin and appeared to us as a baby. That is a mystery in the major where Jesus was born. That's when we face
trials, God provides for us as he provides for Mary and baby Jesus. Even though Jesus was wrapped in the human skin, there were challenges and trials facing the mother and son. And as we go through the book of Luke chapter number, number 1 and verses number 26 to 38, the Bible says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come into the angel said to her, Rejoice highly, favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greetings is this. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the son of the highest and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Mary, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will, will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is a wonderful story. And that's why I've decided to read the whole, the whole uh, content. Because it is a mystery how Jesus was wrapped in the human skin to become human for our salvation. And he came not as a warrior or a conqueror, but as a baby, to show us that he didn't come to scare us, but to save us. Therefore, Mary and the baby Jesus, through the eyes of Mary, people often don't appreciate how Mary, the teenager, who was handpicked by God to be the mother of Jesus, was a hero we can all learn from. In fact, Mary's courage in the face of her God-given mission shows us how much God is with us in every circumstances of our life. And if Mary made it through the challenge set before her, so can we. So there is nothing anticipated of your life and purpose which cannot be accomplished if this happened to Mary. And that's why I saw it best through the conviction of the Holy Spirit we share about the encouragement of Mary in the face of a challenging mission. The people of Israel had longed, awaited the Messiah, prophesied about in the Old Testament books. He would be the one who would deliver Israel from bondage, but without warning, an angel appeared to a young girl and announced that she had been chosen for this very purpose. Of all the women who had ever lived, possibly she was fit for the task. You are the best fit for the task God has called you. So may you do what you are doing with all your heart, with all your strength. And that appreciates and adds value 
to the golden rule of our Lord, loving him with all our hearts and all our mind and our strength. But Mary had several challenges to fight. And life is of many challenges. And uh, point number one of the several challenges. However, there was a slight issue. She was already betrothed to Joseph, a wonderful godly man, and was busy planning her future wedding. But now, she was pregnant. With that in mind, Mary was launched into a serious trial which would test her courage and faith in God. So I want to say that a life is full of challenges. Mary was having the best of all blessings, favored of God, but there was a big challenge. She has become pregnant before her marriage date. But I thank God he was bethrown by a godly fearing man. And God is able to move us out of every challenge of life. Because even though it was found so, Mary got married to Joseph. And they become a husband and a wife. I don't know what is troubling your marriage. I don't know what is troubling your business. I don't know what is troubling your life. It might be health issues. But there is a God in heaven who is saying all things are possible to them who believe in the name of the Lord. And that is a wonderful gift of this Christmas day, the 25th Sunday of December. So as we wait upon God and as we feast, there is a package of a gift, of an encouragement that whatsoever trials you are being going through, God is able to overshadow you with his power and overcome in the name of the Lord. Point number two. A trial you don't understand. Mary had a trial she did not understand. How can these things be? Since I don't know a man. Is that a mysterious kind of challenge? Have you ever been pulsed by your circumstances? You know, very confusing circumstances, even though you are blessed, because she had an appearance of an angel, and that became the start of her problems. God is faithful. David was anointed king, but, but Saul was ready to make it impossible for him to become a king. But may we behold on the anointing and the gifting God has bestowed to each one of us. Have you ever reached out to God for an answer and still things make no sense? You know there are times when we try to pray but it's like nothing is making sense. Proverbs chapter number 3 and verse number 5 to 6. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. The answer of our tongue belongs to the Lord. That's what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 16, verse number 1 to 3. So make known your plans to God and your ways will prosper in the name of the Lord. The anointing you are having, the gifting you are having did not come to challenge you but overcome it. Jesus overcame the grave and on that day he was not in the grave. He was in the streets of Jerusalem spreading the good news because no challenge could have been able to hold 
Jesus at his bath bed Herod was breathing fire but the protection of God was upon him together with his mother point number 3 is what I'm calling the trial of accusation and assumption. Do you know people have assumed you for so long? People have accused you of a non-performer. Those are accusations we get from all over. But when Mary was found to be pregnant and Joseph knew he was not the father, Mary was launched into one of the most painful trials facing her, and that was divorce. Has people assumed you that you are not, you are not the right spouse for your partner? Things, these things happen. But in a Christmas like this, to us, a child is born, and he was wrapped in the skin of human that he may become Christ in us, the hope of glory. In the book of Matthew, chapter number 1 and verse number 19, the Bible says, because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. The, uh, Joseph was a man of integrity. Have you been exposing your spouse to everybody in your village? Unajua kuna ile mambo hiyo ni yetu. Hiyo sio ya kila mtu. Na Mungu akusaidie because many people have destroyed their marriages. Many people have destroyed their life by exposing one another for no reason. Joseph was a man of integrity. He did not go around exposing Mary but they faced the challenge together. Even as we enjoy this festival holiday in Christmas, this 25th Sunday, the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you have a change and become a game changer of your life that you shall not expose yourself all over as you expose you are things to everybody. May God grant you that favor this Christmas in the name of the Lord. Because God is lifting you from one level to the other, from grass to grace. That's where God wants to take you because he loves you in the name of Jesus. I am praying that God may move and manifest in your life that your life shall never be the same again in the name of Jesus, even as you enjoy this Christmas season in the name of Jesus. Point number four, the trial of trusting God for vindiction. By herself, Mary couldn't stop the accusation to change Joseph's mind. So have you been fighting for yourself? Can you let God be fighting for you? Because the battle is no longer yours. The battle is of the Lord. So in this Christmas, that's what God is doing to the church and to the people who trust him. Our nation shall never be the same again. Our economy shall never be the same again. Our executive leadership shall never be the same again because there is an intervention of God. Because all things are possible. Our political events and issues shall never be the same again. Because God is intervening for the sake of our nation. For the sake of our lives. Maybe you are in the hospital. There is a transition. Because God is raising you from that sick bed of hospital. Because your light has come in this Christmas season, in the name of the Lord. And this is the reason Jesus was born, to bring great, great glad tidings to each one of us. There is a wave of goodness. 
and may you embrace it in the name of the Lord. I speak that glad tiding of good news in your life. Jesus came that we may receive back our sight. We may receive back what we have lost and great restoration of our lives. So this Christmas is a Christmas of restoration and a change of events in your life. You are blessed even as God continues to move and work upon your life in a wonderful way you have never thought of because it is Christ in you, the hope of glory in the name of the Lord. In the book of Isaiah chapter number 40 and verse number 1, the Bible says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Are you faced with a serious challenge or challenging condition? This can be a springboard for the next phase of your life. Yes, can you make this Christmas? You are not there. And you, you are there and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is a time to engage in the Lord. There are so many traditions all over the world. But I thank God for this Christ unique tradition which brings everybody together. I thank God for what was done in Calvary because of the 40 strikes minus one. He was stricken at Calvary. We are healed. So Jesus is the resolution of our life. So Christmas becomes the best holiday for each one of us, even as we embrace it in the name of the Lord. We shall not mind about the days. There are people who talk about the day, the birth date, but it's not very important because he is the Lord of all the days. So the day is not our concern. But one thing I know is that Jesus was born and wrapped in the skin of human humanity that he may become one of us, Emmanuel God with us. So may God bless you. Even as you continue to enjoy your festive season. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. You are blessed and may God continue to increase you and multiply you. He multiplied Isaac in the land of Gera where there was famine. So it doesn't matter the surrounding circumstances as Jesus in you, the hope of glory because the one in us is greater than the one in the world. So may God bless you abundantly as I wish you a wonderful Christmas in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are blessed even as we pray. Everlasting Father, how I thank you for this wonderful festive season. Lord, as you bless each one of us as we celebrate back in our homes, in our areas where we have chosen to celebrate, Lord, I call upon your favor. I call upon an anointing of Jesus to overshadow each one of, of us with that greatness that we shall always have the strength renewed on daily basis. May the blessings of the Lord overflow in Jesus name as you have got a great catch of what you have been anticipating all the days of your life. You are blessed in Jesus name. Maybe you are there you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I'll urge you to repeat these words after me. Everlasting Father, the King of glory, Jesus Christ, I come to you. I embrace your word in me as you wrap your word in my flesh that I may become a new creature. Lord, I'm praying that you shall remove my name in the internal book of dimension and write it in the internal book of life 
Yes, you may your blood wash me as white as snow. Yes, that I shall no longer live a condemned life. I bless you and I exhort you. May you receive all the praise and all the glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray, trust and believe. Can you look for a church where you shall start fellowshipping for the new year and the blessings of the Lord shall follow you all the days of your life. You are blessed, blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Uh, may the blessings of the Lord walk with you. And I thank God for the way you have continued to partner with me throughout the year. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year through this media MTN Kenya who have given me this chance to spread the gospel and accomplish the Great Commission. May the blessings of the Lord be with you MTN Kenya and may you have a prosperous and marvelous Christmas in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed to as a child is born. And this Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So I appreciate you and may God continue to bless you even as we continue to progress in the year to come, 2022. And God bless you with your families in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Hallelujah.